Hello from Bear River. The flow is 600 CFS. It's December 24th, 2021. And I wanted to get down here just to show the flow. This is what it was at its peak during the last atmospheric river. And you can see the rocks over there are up to that line that they were before. And this river can hold so much more because this is an underfit river. The watershed once contained the entire headwaters of the South Yuba. And because of uh, head cutting and geological things, the South Yuba turned and joined the other branches of the Yuba and the Bear River was silenced with only Bear Meadow feeding the river. But of course, with all this modern technology now, we've got the South Yuba, we've got the American, we've got all this stuff running down what they call conveyances. They don't even call them rivers. Anyway, this is the effect of 600 CFS on an emerging wetland. You can see the woody debris that gets uh, hung up. Come on. Now think about what this tree has seen and knows. This ancient tree stump. It was there before the conquest, before the miners, before the colonizers. And here's the river. Take a good look at that. That is a functioning, living ecosystem restoring the landscape. The river carrying sediment and depositing soil and earth on top of the devastating, the devastation left by hydraulic mining. My little dog is wandering over there, but I think it'll be okay. And I wanted to come down and see, because this is about as high as it's gotten in a long time. Now, this is capable, and I've seen in the records, as much as 5,000 cubic feet per second have flown down this river. And that would be some rearranging. But here is our emerging wetland getting blessed by the sediment-rich waters, living waters, of our Bear River. And as time goes on, it'll take up more and more of this cobble and turn it into this here. Nurturing habitat, willows, cottonwoods, herbaceous, and even invasive species to reclaim the earth from what was done to it. So this is my Christmas special. It's Christmas Eve day. And I think our miner friends actually have contributed to the restoration by digging all those holes because they stored water. And this is where groundwater meets surface water and creates life. And that's our job in stewardship is to facilitate and foster the Earth's ability to create life. That's what's happening. That's what the earth does. Where do you think it comes from? It comes from the natural processes that are unveiled right in front of our eyes, if we can only see. And I'm sure a whole lot of people who studied ecology, biology, and all this stuff do see it. Our job is to facilitate the earth in creating life. That's why water is life. It's called resource, the source. And when we 
love the earth and do what's right and put stewardship first, we are resourcing our own lives along with the lives of all of this, the living ecology. So there is that water and you can see the power over there and where it's running hard and moving sediment, moving rocks, grinding stuff up, creating sand. Just so many processes that we're oblivious to. It's all happening here right in front of us. So Merry Christmas. Thank God for life and water is life. And thank God for Bear River. Oh, Matak Weasen, we are all related to every element in our living world. Merry Christmas, everybody.